Alright, we are tackling mission three now, and I have just found out that apparently I can't play with custom fleets because it will not progress with the mission. So we're going to go with the default fleet from here on out. There was an instability in the jump out of Rift Space. I will adjust. Perhaps the significant threats in this system have something to do with it. There is a lot of creeper over here. Steady crew, Anna. What do you make of this system? Wreckage like the previous system, there are multiple particulate emitters, but the scale. The emitters here are stronger, and I believe they will emit particulate that are bound together. Bound particulate? Does your simulation predict this? Yes. But I thought that we would not encounter it until we were much further into redacted space. Need to run some calculations, but no, I just need to run some calculations first. Alright, crew, there is wreckage here that we should collect, as well as an info cache. Perhaps it will contain the logs of a long-lost corporate HQ. Perhaps it will be useful for our own survival. Prepare all systems to engage and eliminate the threats. And get me that information catch. Well then, we shall have to do the thing. Let's do this. Unpause and carry on. We need the mothership and then we need to get those couple of caches of energy. So that we can build lathes very, very quickly indeed. And then we've got particle emitters on this side which are emitting squares. That's kind of cool actually. So this one is going to capture the land, that one is going to emit uh, formed ones, and this one is just emitting random particles. So each one does its own little thing. So here's our lathe, we need to go up here and capture the tech, maybe another HQ, which I am not going to complain about one little bit. Capture it together, in fact. Interesting, I've never seen this ship design and it isn't currently available in the Galcorp inventories. I've integrated the license and it's activated successfully. A hidden design? Can you see that? There is both a particle beam and a missile launcher on this guy, plus two engines. Talk about a rapid response ship. Your enthusiasm is admirable, admirable Ogan. The particle beam should slow down particulate. This in itself will be useful, but I can also modulate it to repair decayed blue plasma and remove red plasma. Both should assist us. Assist us with particle particulate devastation. <laughs> Everyone get ready to watch missiles chase down particulate. You know what? I am all for it. Okay, so we've got that one up. What do we build? The Joven. We're gonna build him up. And we've got two caches that are going to come into effect. Let's go ahead and move the mothership down here where we can effectively chase the particles away from us. That is what we need. Oh, you're just emitting strings of particles. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, so we can get rid of him. There is also another lathe down here. We're going to build our destroyer. We're probably going to need all the firepower that we can get. You are online, good dealio. There's a missile away. Hey, that works beautifully. Alrighty then. So... We need to secure this, and then we need to make sure that we can drop an Omni out here before the red takes anything important over. We can actually destroy this one as well. Too bad I don't get a super circle. That would be ideal if I destroyed those things and got that massive kind of bonus, but I suppose it is fair enough that I do not. This isn't Creeper World after all. We're going to move down here and, like father, like son, get this online as quickly as we possibly can. And actually, I can't get over here quickly enough. There it is. We're online now, and here comes one of those vicious squares. Another Omni's been added to our license inventory. Well, excellent. That's all I've got to say. We can do that, and then let's move you two way over here. Now, I don't really foresee a huge threat, but we're gonna park our big dude right over here. And that's going to kind of hold the pass here. Actually, you two, let's go over here and claim that. And then this lathe, we are going to land, uh, not you, you. This lathe, we're going to land right over here. By the time he gets there, we should have an energy source within range. So that is going to work out rather beautifully indeed. Use Omnis to defeat the emitter. I do believe I will. Thank you very much. Okay, so... He is just going to steadily build up a stream, and we're going to move you guys all the way up here to assist in the fight to the north. So, 
I'm thinking that once this... Are you not able... Why are you not... Uh, why are you not emitting? Let's move you over here and see if we can get two emitters running simultaneously. This info cache is unencrypted but only partially preserved. It is very old and uses a version of data compression that is, well, ancient. But I think I can access some of the data. Ah, there. Most of the data is telemetry and a mess, but there is one entry from a personal log. Data follows. Um, chairman's personal log, the particulate emitters have been growing stronger in each system. Unless fate is mocking us, the particulate must be communicating across systems. If so, then our theories about the particulate must be correct. And if these theories are correct, then the Galactic Corporation, House of Abraxas, and the ruling board have all kept a terrible secret for too long. End data, that is all I can access privately. House of Abraxas, they fell decades ago. And there hasn't been a ruling board in nearly as long. Whatever secret Ragnall was referring to seems to have remained a secret. Yes. I wonder if Ragnall's theory about the particulate matches ours. Well, I don't know what that, uh, what that theory is, but holy crap, that's a lot of stuff there. When those squares hit, let's go ahead and move up into this space. And once we get enough bog or mire, whatever it's called right there, we are going to move this one over to this side. And yes, they're both emitting. That is glorious. Hopefully they will be able to overwhelm it. That is my my true wish at the moment, because if they cannot, I'm going to have to bring something back down with which to fight. And yes, it does appear that they are very, very slowly winning. That is a good thing. There's the missile, blows that thing up. Does it actually blow up the whole shape? No, it does not. Only one red spore, but it does work rather well indeed. Let's move up here. And then we also need to move our lathe, not our lathe, our Omni, right over that away. So we just kind of need to poke at this thing for a bit, make sure that everything is eliminated to the point where we can safely move our ships in. The one bad thing that I'm seeing here is that uh, we are kind of out in the open on this one. Um, let's move, let's move you over here. And we're gonna bring the lathes with us Strictly for point defense, and oh crap. Run away, run away, run away, run away. Get in the field and slow down, please. Thank you. All right, we don't need to lose any ships this early on. That was an awful big cluster of shapes. So the lasers are super, super useful, but it's like by the time they get close enough for the lasers to hit, you're already kind of screwed. Let's uh, let's move back over this way, see if we can get close again. We're gonna move him and the mothership up, which should be enough point blank firepower. There we go. And let's build. Woo, that's sketchy. Took the whole front bumper clean off. Let's move our lathe in. And I think we've got enough here. Yes, it's going to be slightly sketchy, but we will be able to take that spore out. All right, good freaking dealio. We have eliminated the first of many. Let's move to the south here. And you have already filled that up. So let's go mire this thing up here. Seems like a plan. Nothing else to build, so let's go tackle this emitter down here. There we go. We'll make short work of him. All right, we've got a clear spot now. We can move the Omnis up, and that should eliminate that in the center. There, we have eliminated the randomized one. And that should be the last one we've got to kill. Come on, come on, there it is. I'm more convinced now than ever. Anna, any readings that might lead us to the origin world? Privately to Tycon and Amicus, none. I'd hope that there would be some remnants, some molecular structures, anything that would hint at the origin world. If we don't find it, then all of this could be for nothing. I remain hopeful, my friends. We've been able to handle the particulate threat so far and better than most it would seem. We will. Push onward. 
Alrighty, let's do another mission. That one was rather short indeed, so we shall tackle another. Number four, Insanity. Well, that's appropriate. Status report. Scanning the system and done. That's odd, Thoth. What is your assessment? These emitters show different energy readings. There is more of a pattern or a rhythm to their energy output compared to emitters we previously encountered. Meaning? Unknown, sir, but I would speculate with more ordered energy output would come more complex behavior. I concur. The energy patterns indicate more intense pulsations. The emitters could be producing particulate with greater intensity. We should be mindful of this possibility. Particulate with greater intensity would be more difficult for our weapons to destroy. Additionally, the particulate might have the capacity to create red plasma in space as they travel. I experimented with this in my simulations, but was never able to get it to work. This whole thing is like one continuous tongue twister. It is a challenge to read. Ogin, do your best to compensate for these threats. We need to collect any remnant technology and info caches present in this system. We must engage the particulate regardless of its intensity. I was hoping you would say that. That's right, we all have a killer bloodlust hiding inside. So we've got another over there. We've got another type of ship right here, which is very useful indeed. Particle emitter, particle emitter, particle emitter, and another emitter down there. So I think the best place for our ship is literally right in the middle of it all, only I cannot actually build it there. So we're going to build it right here. And go! All right, we need that up, and then we can immediately start capturing our temporary resources with which to get our ships on the line. And get another. <clears throat> Production is at three, and right now I'm not doing particularly well on storage, but we shall get there. Lathe coming on the line, and then we'll need another lathe to capture things rather rapidly. I'm looking forward to seeing what that ship is. It is... It kind of looks like a flying saucer, to be honest. Not sure what to make of it. A cruiser class Galcon ship license. Indeed. Oh, look at this. Dual missile launchers, dual cannons, particle beam, and laser defense. I recommend immediate construction. So this is a freaking warship of the greatest proportions. We need to take good advantage of it. So we're going to build a couple of Omnis here. Actually, all of our Omnis. So we can get things online. Going to move the mothership out to the middle here. And hopefully that will deter any of the particulate coming our way. And oh crap, I just realized that there are particles coming down from the north. So we are definitely going to need uh, the destroyer online in order to delete all of these things. Sir! The particle, the particulate have created hostile energy mines. The construction of energy mines seems to closely mirror the same Galcon energy mines that we built. There's an integrated cannon. How could the particulate have constructed this without a lathe? However the particulate did it, I can still destroy it. I'll move lathe ships in range and deconstruct any mines that the particulate construct. Maintain your composure, crew. This is unexpected thought. Assessment. The particulate must possess a rudimentary pattern replication capacity. Energy mines are relatively primitive technology. Perhaps after exposure to many instances of energy mines over the centuries, the particulate has learned how to replicate them. That would be a logical conclusion. The question is, why are they building them here and not in the previous systems? What will come next? All right, so. I like how Creeper World kind of addresses the elephant in the room with game logic, where you got to figure out, you know, what what is going on here? What's the dealio? Well, we're going to build the Joven and the Cruiser. We're going to do it all at the same time because, lo and behold, we can actually sustain it thanks to our energy stores, which are rapidly depleting, but which we do have access to. So we're going to move the Destroyer up here. Should be good to go. And the mothership and a couple of lathes. We're going to take this as quickly as we possibly can. It did say that there was a cannon on it. But we should be able to do rather well. And I'm going to move him up here. And him as well. You'll notice that the engines are not online yet. So he can move, but it is very, very, very slow. We're going to take all three of you and go capture this in one tremendous fast hit. There it is. We got it. 
All right, lathes, let's get on this thing. Get some energy online. I'm gonna fly you out there. Let's actually fly you over here. Maybe we can get on board there. Actually, um, let's go like right in the middle, I think. There we go. Send you up here to build it in advance. And we've got several warships here, in fact. So I'm gonna move my destroyer down here where hopefully we can keep these off of our back. Oh, that's close. That is too close for comfort, in fact. There we go. Hopefully the missile launcher, yes, missile launcher will take it. So we're good over there. Ah, the cannon is firing at me. That's what they were talking about. So let's go take this son of a gun out. Integration of the Omni license successful. Given the amount of remnant land in this system, the additional Omni should prove useful. Well, you know me, anytime I can gain access to more resources, I am all over that son of a gun. All right, so we need to move that out there. We can move the other Omni over to this side to capture faster. And my destroyer looks like he is doing a pretty dang good job of taking care of business. We got that up there. Let's go ahead and move in range of the spore. I think we've got plenty online to take care of that. I actually just changed my mind. Oh! The music is so good for this. Sweet. All right, this is gonna be a bit more complicated. We've got that, but the particle is protecting the main body. That's very different behavior indeed. Let's take, uh, you are not able to produce. We're gonna have to move you over there in range. I just realized the lathe takes a store with it, but it does not have an infinite ammunition. So this is exactly like Creeper World. All right, so we're gonna spread a little there, but I'm more interested in getting over here to where I can, uh, build another energy source to refuel with. All right, so we don't longer need these ships here. We should be able to uh, run on down this way and start moving in on this one. I'm gonna send one lathe with you. And we're gonna send the destroyer with the mothership and another lathe over here. So we've got the big old warship on the war path to the south. I'm just gonna go ahead and move up. Just move straight up here. You got plenty of firepower to deal with all this crap. There you go. Okay, now that we've got that power source online, I'm gonna move back uphill so that this moves a little quicker. And you fine fellas, we're going to try to move in range right here. I think, let's see what happens. Um, yeah, they don't attack. Good deal. Let's go move the lathe up with the mothership for backup. All right, they're starting to come this way now. Not cool, not cool, not cool. Ah, uh, it's tight. I need to move back. Ah, uh, it's burning the front of my ship. Help me. The info cache was very well preserved, but strangely, it's nearly empty. As if someone took a fresh cache, wrote a few records in it, and jettisoned it. Data as followed. <laughs> May the gods have mercy upon us. No, no, why bother? Everything is nothing, nothing is everything. Nothing will happen again and again and again and again and again. And again, and again and again and again and again and again and again. The record repeats and again several thousand times. And then ends. Privately to Tycod, no doubt the log of a crazed CEO. Gibberish from prolonged isolation or perhaps insanity that came from knowing his destruction was imminent. Perhaps, but as my father said, the insane aren't always blinded by delusion. Sometimes they just see too much reality. Uh, I think that's all hocus pocus, but who am I to say? All right, we're gonna cancel that one out and apparently we are good to go. I'm gonna move my destroyer back up here and hopefully not trigger the entire sequence of events that we had just a few moments ago. And then we've just about claimed all of this. Yes, let's go ahead and move up this away. Uh, the lathe has covered this one, but we can now go after this territory, which should be uh, very fine indeed. The red is overpowered by the blue energy, so that is good. Very good. 
That is a long range. Ah, I see what they're talking about. So this slows down the particles. Very interesting indeed. All right, we're going to make like a blockade here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't lose, don't lose. There we go. Now we need to figure out the next place that we are going to go. And I think I can actually plant my mothership right here. There we go. Oh, crud. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Yes. All right, fantastic. So we have now intercepted the main portion of the rail here. We're gonna be able to thin this out, oh crap, quite mightily. No, no, I didn't mean to click that. Controls are very touchy here. Interesting. All right, let's go ahead and move up on this one just a little bit. There we go. All right, Mr. Cannon, I don't really want you... Ah, the cannons shoot at each other. Sweet. It's like the Matrix, bullets hitting bullets and whatnot. Let's move up here. Uh, Lathe kind of has to be in front. Move him down here. Good, good, good. Particles going after the destroyers and whatnot, so we don't have to worry about that. We are going to be able to take out this emitter. Fan-freaking-tastic. All right, next up is, of course, to take over a spot on the land so that we can move our Omni over to that side. That is going to be exactly what we need to do. Oh, crap. I lost a lathe, didn't I? I did lose a lathe. Okay, that's going to make things interesting. Can I hold right here? That's the question. The answer to that question is yes. So I am down a ship but not to the point where I'm going to have an issue. All right, now I need to solve the problem of this. Um, can I get in range? Yes, indeed, I can. Good deal. All right, so we've killed that. Can I, can I build another? I, I, would, I would like that very much indeed. Maybe? Just maybe. If I can get like right up on the edge. Come on. Come on. Let's try it here. We'll be we'll be in the blue and able to refuel. Nope, apparently if I'm inside the red sphere of influence, I can't. Ah, okay. I'm gonna have to problem solve now. Let's try moving the lathe up into this nice little piece of territory here. Hopefully it will not instantaneously self-destruct. Oh wait, lathe destroyed. Um. Oh, that w okay, that was my ship. Never mind, never mind. Not an Omni. Not an Omni. I'm glad that there's notifications there that tell you everything that's happening. That is super duper useful. All right, the HP is going down rather rapidly, but we did secure a foothold. And that is all we needed. All right, victory is assured. I think. Let's uh, let's take our ship of war here and go over this way. I want to add him to the pile over here. Actually, I'm gonna go right over there because I think I'm gonna need a lot of firepower in one spot to take on that son of a gun. That is just an absurd amount of particles. Can I spare you as well? Um, you're kind of doing a good job with the cannon, but I think I can spare you. Let's go up here. We're about to make a grand assault. Jet away! Zoom! <laughs> he is a fast ship. Really freaking fast. All right, let's move the destroyer up just a tad. Just a little more. Can, can, can. All right, there it is. Run! Please don't die. Good. Okay, so that's a. Oh. HQ jump to safety available in 18 seconds. Well, that's lame. Come on now. Come on. 
I had everything set. Oh, we lost fuel. Run. Run away. All right, I got to not let that happen again. Because obviously that just about destroyed me right there. Can you... There we go. And we can jump back up for support right there. Good, good deal. I think I'm actually comfortable moving my other lathe over this way as well. So let's do that. There we go. We're in missile range now and gradually depleting the numbers on that side. This is a rather, rather weird mission. I'm not going to lie. Move the HQ up here. Use the great point blank defenses on the mothership. See, it's got the lasers right there that do fantastically well. Um, let's actually do... Can we get the lathe up in here? I don't want to trigger anything nasty. Let's do that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They're coming! Run! Run away! <laughs> oh, it's like the bait and switch. Okay, we gotta not pull a bunch, but pull some. Can you do it? Can you do it? Run away! Break off a chunk. Bring it back to the ships to kill. That's pretty cool. This is a really good mechanic. Yeah, I, I might should have taken out the one spawning the blobs over there first, but I, I'm just going to do it this way. All right. Move the lathe up. I think we are now to the point where we can survive this. Yes, we got it. Sweet. That is exactly what I needed. And I can actually move right here. So that we can make ourselves another energy source. And then we're going to bring our whole freaking fleet down this way. Ah, we've got plenty now. That thing is making a buttload of stuff. I mean, seriously, it's making a ton of particles. Oh, wow, I lost my lathe. It's got to rebuild. <laughs> so you can actually lose equipment. That is good to know. And it's back. All right, we've only got one left. Got that one right there, the monster. Let's uh let's get within range. Got another cannon on him, which is a bit frustrating, but we should be able to take care of ourselves. Nice having only lost one ship this entire time. All right, let's bait and switch, Mr. Lathe. Get up in there. Draw them. Draw them. Run away. And we're good. Ah, that wasn't even the emitter. The emitter's up here. They're just collecting around this. That's good to know. And it's ours. Okay, easy enough. Let's move on to the last one. No difficulty whatsoever on capturing the last of the emitters. All right, that is it, guys. We've got this mission on lockdown. Well done. We faced unforeseen threats and overcome them. We've also collected valuable information that should lead us forward in our search for the truth. So that is that. You know the drill, guys. I've got to reset a couple of things, and I will be right back. We'll tackle another mission.